Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Capricorn in a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. Okay, let me just pull this up a little bit more. All right. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to pull individual energy for Scorpio and then I'm going to pull individual energy for Capricorn. All right, we'll see what's going on with this couple. I'm just trying to think of which cards I actually want to use. I think I'm going to start with these. All right, let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see. Scorpio, give me where you are at the moment in this scenario of love or whatever's going on in this connection with your Capricorn. Okay, guys, please. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. I don't know these people, just so you know. <laughs> All right, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Also, and I hate to say this, guys, uh, if I don't do personal readings, so if anybody's offering you personal readings or somebody's showing up on an app asking you questions, that's not me. Also, all my information is time stamped, right? And like I was telling you guys earlier, people have been taking my content before I even post it or publish it, right? So if you see a video of mine and you see I post it a little later, that's stolen. So please report that. Everything needs to be reported. Thanks, guys. All right, let's get to business. Let's do this. All right, let's go. Scorpio, what's going on with you with love and this relationship with Capricorn? What's going on? All right, the Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Scorpio, you feel like there's something that does not need to continue here with you, Capricorn. You are taking some kind of knowledge or feeling or something and you decided um, this is over. I'm not going to participate in this. I'm not going to entertain nonsense with people, right? There's no second chances for this. This is your thinking right now at the moment. Like, I'm not rocking with you, right? Scorpio, what else is going on? This is about you and Capricorn. Give me more, please. The Grim Reaper comes out for Scorpio. Let's see what else comes out. Scorpio is thinking, I'm going to uh, uh, transform my life. I'm going to move on with something. We also have cassette. This did come up reversed. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. It looks like you're letting these things go. All right. You see that you're letting these things go immediately. I feel like you're letting these things go, meaning the outdated thinking, trying to gain a new perspective on something. You guys are opened up here and you can't see this card. You guys are opened up to something that is completely new. You guys are opened up to expanding your horizons and I think in a different way, something like that. We also have for you, there's something about boat. It did come out reversed here, receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on and closure issues. So some of you guys might still have some outstanding issues. As I pull more cards, I'm starting to see that some of you guys might need to let go of outdated thinking. Understands that things, because I've seen this too, trust me. These things that just happen, right? This outdated thinking. This thinking that, you know, if you're kind, you're going to get kindness back, right? That doesn't, that doesn't translate to everybody. So I think that could be part of the outdated thinking too. Also, the boat card, receiving what you need. There could be some delays in Scorpio receiving what they need in something. Photograph did come out reversed here. It looks like Scorpio is not looking at photos. There's no missing you. There's no making new memories. Remember, this is dead. Scorpio said no more. So I feel like there's either you need to stop looking at. I feel like all these things are gone, to be honest with you. That's what I feel. Or you need to get rid of them. Something like that. All right. So we see that for Scorpio. Let me just put this over here. I got a minute. And I erased a bunch of stuff, so. <laughs> All right. And we have photograph. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there for Scorpio. You guys can see that? Yeah, it looks shady, right? But you guys are just going along for the ride with me. All right, let's see what else is going on. Now, Capricorn, what's going on with you? What is your story here? Where are you at the moment in the area of love when it comes to Scorpio? What's going on? It did come up reversed here. Something about a union, wedding, married, a soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. I feel like this is something that Capricorn cannot give you. All right? Or something like that. Maybe that's what you guys were expecting from something. It's something about wedding rings or maybe somebody was hiding something. It looks like something was hidden. Wedding rings or or this person is deciding they're not going to take, uh, take things to the next level with you. Or they're hiding a marriage or something like that. Give me more. We also see here addiction. This person is codependent, your Capricorn. In this reading, I want to be very clear, guys. This is not for every Capricorn. So please don't take these readings that way. I have a whole list. You're more than welcome to go in and 
look at the playlist, look at the relationship uh, reads, and um, you can take a look at them. And all the couples are different, right? They have different stories. So this particular Capricorn and this energy is codependent, obsessive. They're possessive, controlling. And it says you have a block. And there's some sort of restraints here, addiction. There's something that holds you back. I feel like these are the things that you need to focus on. There's something about wedding rings. Maybe some of you guys, if you guys are married, maybe you need to work on your marriage. Right? Scorpio and Capricorn. I also see something about an addiction getting in the way of something. Somebody wants to take off their mask. It looks like Capricorn wants to take off their mask. Not showing their true feelings. They're hiding things. They're pretending. They're diluting and also gaslighting. So it looks like, it looks like wedding rings. This person has an addiction, definitely. They're definitely wearing a mask, and I feel like this person is married, or they're hiding something about a marriage or something. Are they either hiding an addiction, hiding a marriage, they're wearing a mask, which is coming off? Mm. For some of you guys, if you're married, this person might be trying to take the wedding ring off, too. So I watch out for that. They got a mask, addictions. More, please. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. I feel like that's what this person is trying to get to. Stability, but they're wearing a mask to do it. All right, so I feel like there's somebody here, Capricorn, in this scenario. I don't know if you guys are together. I don't know if you guys are married, but it looks like either Capricorn decides they're going to hide that they're married or something or whatever. There's something about being codependent. So this Capricorn could be dependent on you too much, Scorpio, for something. Right. It also says that they have some kind of addiction that could be codependency. It could be drugs, alcohol, whatever. But it's creating some sort of blocks that are not allowing Capricorn to take the mask off. But they are going to take the mask off. And once they do, I feel like there's going to be some stability here, whatever that means to you guys. Let's take a look and see what's going on here with this. And I know that was weird, right? But Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. We do have judgment reversed for you. So there's something going on psychologically and it could be... Um, biological too there's some factors in motion going on for scorpio here i feel like scorpio has been thrown into some sort of state of confusion right and they're trying to make a proper judgment call on something i feel like this is something having to do with a new phase of life that is coming in and i feel like there might be some delays and postponements on something it could be due to deceit the cards are saying here, Scorpio, that you need to make peace with these changes that are coming in because they are coming. Even though there are some delays and you may have to wait, and we see this too, you're probably waiting to make a judgment about something also. I feel like for you guys, this is about delays and postponements. So there's something that is in the way of movement. It could be uh, Scorpio wanting to take something to the next level, and then we have somebody here that comes across with this weird energy. It's very strange. Now, with Scorpio, when it pertains to this relationship, and Scorpio, you do show up with a judgment card. It is reversed here. There's something here where the only solution is for Scorpio is to walk away from the situation. For some of you guys, you're turning your back on a situation. You're running. You're like, I don't want to deal with this. There's something where you guys have to attend to some sort of paperwork or something like that. But the cards also say that you're mentally closed off to this relationship or situation. There could be a situation going on within a relationship between Scorpio and Capricorn and Scorpio's turn their back. We also have here Scorpio. This is, it just goes on to show how Scorpio um, withdraws from the situation in a sense, right? So Scorpio's like, I'm going to turn my back and run because this is not doing anything for me. As a matter of fact, it's causing me more harm than good. I feel like for some of you guys here, this has to do with you losing your aggressiveness in a situation, in this relationship. Like, I'm not going to invest anything in it. You know, when I go for a bag of popcorn, I'm probably not buying you a bag like that. So I feel like somebody's losing their aggressiveness towards something, mentally closed off, don't want to deal with the situation. I don't want to deal with that. And I feel like that's where Scorpio is. But ultimately, the first card that came out for Scorpio in this read is Grim Reaper. It's over. The cards do say here, Scorpio, there's something that I know that you want to close off this situation, but I, I feel like. Maybe something needs to be said because I see you turning your back, but the cards also say that you can't turn your back yet without facing the facts. Or in my opinion, my interpretation is hearing the other person out. So I think that's what Scorpio's trying to make a judgment call on. Right now, I can't see, I can't see that. It says the Grim Reaper. We also have here for Capricorn. Let's take a look at this. This talks about you being fickle in this relationship. Whenever you have the King of Swords, it's actually supposed to be reversed here. 
Whenever you have this card here, the King of Swords, it talks about fickleness. So the Capricorn in this relationship, Scorpio views them as coming across as fickle or maybe Scorpio can't see it and you're being fickle in this relationship. As a matter of fact, I think one of the reasons why Scorpio might be trying to not have a conversation or want to go on is because the reason why Scorpio don't want to have a conversation with you is because there's some nasty words that are going to be said coming from this Capricorn, right? As a matter of fact, they're doing things to stop you, saying things that are against you. This is coming straight out of your Capricorn's mouth. As a matter of fact, one of the things here, because it goes on to talk about how Capricorn treats Scorpio. It says that you play one person against the other. So that suggests, Capricorn, that there's somebody else in this reading. It does talk about external people involved in this. And it's all on your end. So you have all this stuff going on, Capricorn. You have a bunch of nonsense going on, right? Now, let's go on to the next piece of it. Now, the next piece of the King of Swords here, it says that you're seeking some new spirituality or something like that, a new way of life, spiritual quests. But I feel like whatever this is, people are laughing at you. It's like they're antagonizing you. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be one of those folks that Maybe you have one image somewhere and then you live another life somewhere else or something. I don't know. I don't know if this is something that you don't want to get out, but I feel like you may have spoken to somebody about your spiritual quest. And in some cases, you know, when people want to go deeper into spirituality based on who you were before that, it could come across as a joke. But I will tell you this because I practice diplomacy those changes are actually real. Like you can go from one part of your life where y'all wilding and then all of a sudden you're like, hey man, I'm getting more peace out of just, you know, sitting down in nature, reading my books, getting this, or whatever it is you do. So I feel like there's some graduation here for Capricorn where they start to, they're like, I want to delve into my spirituality. I want to see what this is about. But I think where the uncomfort comes is when they start to tell people. Whatever that attracts, whatever you told people about your spiritual quest, you know, maybe one day people see you as, you know, I don't believe anything. I believe in da 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 da. And then the next day, maybe if you're holding up a Bible or something, yeah, people are going to take that as a joke, right? Because literally, it was 24 hours ago. Now, I'm not saying the most high can't change you. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is you have to, you have to live a certain way. In order for people to take you seriously, right? You have to, there's got to be some kind of proven track record. Like for instance, you know, I had detectives following me and they found that I was living just what I said, right? So to me, that's a proven track record. And I feel like that's something that might need to continue on for Capricorn in this relationship. You, if you have some kind of spiritual quest, you need to stick to it. Otherwise, if you just had the liquor bottle up yesterday, right? And then you got the Bible today. And again, I'm not saying that that can't happen. You know, you can be changed overnight. Like this ray of light could come down and ain't nothing ever the same. Look at that. The mask can come off. Ooh, okay. So I'm not saying that it can't be done. But, you know, in terms of folks believing it, you know, there's got to be some kind of proven track record. And I think that might be what Capricorn is up against now and facing. We also see here the justice card. There could be some legal matters here. I believe there are legal matters here. I see something about wedding rings. This could symbolize some sort of divorce between you guys or somebody hiding a marriage, stepping out on a marriage, something like that. But there's something legal going on. It says here that you guys, I guess, I don't know if you're carrying a ton of weight on your shoulders here, but I feel like legal matters, you're going to get some justice in them. I feel like some of you guys are too worried about external resources when it comes to this relationship and what other people think or something like that. I also see here... This is something about you calling a judgment, something about you trying to make a judgment in your own life, trying to handle extremes such as personal affairs and also business affairs. So I feel like you guys, Capricorn, are trying to get some kind of justice when it comes to something that is personal or business related. All right. I want to see here. Now, if we look at this, we don't see any emotions for Capricorn here. We see a lot of thinking. There's a lot of thinking, and there's somebody who's trying to get justice. We have Scorpio over here who's trying to call judgment on something, but there are some emotions that have been turned around here. The only solution for Scorpio is to walk away. See, this is about the Eight of Cups, the dreams coming true, wishes, right? For some of you guys, it's about 
abandoning certain dreams or something like that. Like I have to take these dreams and go away from them. I have to, you know, go start my plan elsewhere because it's not going to work out in this situation. And besides that, we have Capricorn in a Ten of Swords energy. So Capricorn, I feel like you have a ton of burdens. I feel like you guys are going to get some kind of justice in a situation, but let's remember what is justice. See, when people... Oh, justice is this and that. Oh, justice means I'm going to win. You sure are going to win, but you're going to win and get back whatever you put in. So the justice is if you did good, I guess you're going to get it, right? If you were genuinely treated bad in a situation having to do with business, situation with affairs of the heart, and you haven't done anything wrong and you stood your ground and you said, you know what, no matter how much it hurts, I'm going to stay away from this person, you're going to get your reward. But, you know, when you decide... This, that, and the other thing, and all types of nonsense, along with being chemically enhanced in some cases with the addiction card, there is a possibility that justice for you is going to play out another way. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on with love. I got these love cards right here. All right, now let's look at love for this couple under the high priestess reverse common energy with you guys. Both you guys are seeking greater recognition. When I look at this here and I see the final card is the high priest reversed. Both you guys are seeking greater recognition. Now, it looks like Scorpio might be seeking greater recognition within this relationship. But Capricorn is focused on recognition and approval from others on the outside. Who are these others? It says something about a wedding ring. Let me see if there's anything that comes up about marriage here. All right, bottom of the deck. Forgiving and learning. As you release, hold on. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right, so that's at the bottom of the deck. I'll just pull that out, put that right there. Forgiving and learning. I feel like that's what this speech is about. I just saw the wedding card, guys. I was shuffling. I ain't pull it. Hold on. Let's All right. What's going on here? Tell me what's going on for um, this couple in love, please. Show me love. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner uh, youthful spirit of fun to shine. So if you guys are looking to get back together, there's something with forgiving and learning. There's something about playfulness, like you have to incorporate more play into this relationship. We, all, we also have unrequited love. Ooh, playfulness. Huh? Give me one more. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Scorpio called it. Scorpio's like, it's dead. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek, but it seems it's unrequited. Could there be a time difference in terms of when it's unrequited? Absolutely, because I see where somebody decided to debt it. They're calling judgment on a situation. It's unrequited love. There's codependencies. Addiction keeps coming up. There's a lot of addictions here. So I feel like addictions could be holding one of you guys back. One of you guys back from something. I don't know. This is a mess. Wedding rings, reversed addiction, a false mask. This is not a good Capricorn. This Capricorn that shows up in this read is not a good. You don't seem as a, like a stellar individual. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection. Codependency, placefulness, unrequited love. Love yourself first. Deception. I knew that was going to come up. It's forgiven and learning, playfulness, unrequited love. Somebody, somebody didn't give their love back. And now it looks like Scorpio's back is turned to them. There's some sort of deception here having to do with the marriage or false mask. It looks like Scorpio's disconnected, no photographs. Whatever it is that Scorpio is needing is on hold. There's something, there's a whole bunch of things that have been put on hold here. So it almost feels like there's some interruption of a regular... There was a relationship that was interrupted by lies. It looks like deception, deceit. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, let's see what's going on. Give me a conversation from these folks, please. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Capricorn? Scorpio, what do you have to say to Capricorn? Now, granted, these stories can play out another way, guys. Put the cards where they fit. Everything is here for a reason. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Capricorn, please? Let's get to know each other better. Things are just moving too fast. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling like Capricorn wants to rush in to deceive. That's what it looks like. It looks like a rush to deceive. Like, I'm not going to tell you this. I'm not going to tell you that. But I am. I'm going to move fast because that's something that I want, right? 
So Scorpio recognizes something's moving at a pace that they're not comfortable with. Give me more, please. Capricorn, what do you have to say to Scorpio? I really need to hear from you. I don't like being in the dark about what's going on in your life. It sounds like there's no communication there. I feel like Scorpio's like, this is moving too fast. I'm trying to dead this. And now this person wants to speak about something. They want to know what's going on in your life. So obviously there's no communication there, right? And in some cases, you never met these people in your life. <laughs> That's just a side joke. <laughs> you don't know who these people are. They, 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 but they want to see what's going on in your life, though. Ooh, that's weird, right? That's some weird energy. Y'all want to watch out for crazy, crazy people like that. They're showing up. Trying to get into your psyche. Bye. All right. No communication. No communication, please, Scorpio. I need to own up to where I fell short in this relationship. Sometimes I think you uh, you can be a little controlling and it pushes me away. Give me one more because I'm trying to make sure this ain't self-blame. Hold on. My twin flame, my love. Hold on. Parts of me are broken. I'm afraid if I show them, I'll get hurt if I show them. Oh, one foul. Let me see what this is. We belong together. This is Scorpio saying this to Capricorn. But I see something. I need to fell. I fall some. Where you fell short in a relationship. Capricorn, what do you have to say to Scorpio, please? Guys, also, these cards, you know. So these cards could fit somewhere else, too. Because I'm picking that up. So you have to understand you're dealing with a spirit of confusion here where they're attempting to confuse you. So put stuff like, I just did another read. I did Scorpio and Scorpio. And the other Scorpio, in a sense, was putting their crap on the other Scorpio. It was like something about body image. So when I pulled another read, in that particular reading, Scorpio has a great butt. You know what I mean? So it's like sometimes people try and put their crap on you. Remember that. Give me, um, give me Capricorn, please. All right. I do miss talking to you. You guys must have been together at some point. This is a, a, a couple that was together at some point. And in some people, this is an imaginary relationship. I know I keep giving you mixed signals. I know I can be hot and cold. So you see where one person was like, okay, maybe I didn't do something right. Maybe I fell short. But it wasn't, it doesn't look like it was you. I'm so lost right now. I'm confused. So this person is trying to continue to spread their confusion about a situation because they're looking for stability, security, and endurance. Right? Flexibility. Somewhere where they can weave themselves into something and they're hiding stuff. Give me one more from this person. Babe, I love you. I want to be with you. This did come out reverse here. This person's lying. I'm just saying. You got to call it out. It is what it is. Uh, what else do I need to know here? Stability, security. Hmm. I'm trying to see what else. Tell me about... Well, we see why Scorpio deaded it. Why is Scorpio saying they fell short? Hold on. Okay, I feel like in some cases, Scorpio may have felt like they were too focused on their making their money or building their career or something, not necessarily paying too much attention to this relationship. And I think that there was somebody who was trying to interrupt that, right? So it looks like there was, I don't know. In this case, with this couple, I'm going to say somebody may have been too focused on their work or doing something where they, I don't know, you may have lost focus, actually. I need to own up to where I fell short in this relationship. I feel like some of you guys may have been working too much. That's the bottom line. I also see where there's some of you guys here, you may have canceled some plans with this person. There's Sagittarius and Cancer energy here. Something about canceling plans. I feel like for some of you guys, Scorpio, you may have been too busy working and you became unreliable. All right? If you want to get to the nitty gritty of it. I also feel like Scorpio had some reservations about this relationship. All right? We do have... Who comes up here? Oops. Put that down. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Pisces that shows up. And then we have Cancer, Sagittarius that shows up. All right. So that could have had something to do with these delays too, whatever they are. This this causing you to lose focus on something. This was intentional. All right. So we see that's where Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, yeah, you didn't do anything. There were people doing that to you. Let's see what else. 
Tell me about the wedding rings reverse, please, for Capricorn. Why the wedding rings reverse here? What's up with this union, this wedding, this marriage? Okay, um, I feel like I feel like Capricorn may have been looking again. It just it backs up everything. It's just you guys were looking for external sources to give you some kind of love or something like that, or depending on other people. Feel your own cup first. You guys were not practicing self love. You were too dependent on other people for what you needed. Whether that be emotionally, financially, or something like that. I feel like in this case, emotionally. And then it says that you guys were giving up on something with the seven of wands reverse. Like, I'm giving up on a situation. I don't have enough confidence to go through with something. All right. But it also goes on to say that you guys have willpower. So it really doesn't say too much. Something about work, freeing yourselves from detachment. I feel like you could be doing some work too, trying to get rid of detachments. But it doesn't really, we have Capricorn, you show up again in your own freedom. I want some kind of release. I want to be detached from a situation. I feel like some of you guys are working hard to do something, manifest something, but you've given up. You didn't have any confidence. I, what I feel like is you may have been emotionally cold to a situation, and then it looks like some turnaround happens where you decide now I want to free myself, whatever that's about. I've only been up here 26 minutes. Let me see what else is here. Oh, so that reading is over. That's over. Let's see what else comes up. Just some nonsense. Show me the nonsense. Hey, show me under wedding rings. There's a message of concern that comes through. Somebody's concerned. Somebody may have reached out to you, Capricorn. <laughs> a wealthy man. A message of concern is something about a wealthy man here. Or a man who wants to appear. An official person. Mm, that's a lot. Poverty. There was some lie about something. Something that somebody, as a message of concern was sent, somebody started thinking about it. It looks like a wealthy man or somebody pretending to be wealthy steps in or something like that. Or this could be a wealthy man. Something about poverty and an official person. So there's some official person that was checking into something. They were checking into something, a false person, poverty, forced person. Somebody told lies about something. Messages that were never received, whatever that's about. To me, for some of you guys here with this message received, somebody even lied and said they were sending a message or somebody intervened and you never got the message. This could be a wrong address. It could be this, that. I don't know. And there's something about a child here. Somebody's denying a child. Maybe that's what the message of concern is about. I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's reversed here. I don't know if somebody's saying the kid ain't mine. There's a kid here. Show me what's up with the chariot. Something about a house. Some of you guys are going to have to take this trip, Scorpio, where you don't necessarily want to take a trip. It's like an undesired or unexpected trip or just something you didn't expect about a house or something like that. There's also something about courtship Ooh. and sudden wealth. Sudden wealth, they come out reversed here. Sudden wealth, a main female. Mm. Coffin. This comes up twice. Do I want to dead something? It looks like you do dead it. But there's, this could mean, too, there's something about sudden wealth in a coffin. Somebody could have passed on. Lovers. Mm. Coffin lovers. Some of you guys are dead in a relationship or thinking about dead in it. Occupation. Something about, I don't know if your job was being impacted. Some of you guys could be having issues with your jobs. Message of concern was sent again to another person. It was a lady. Mm -hmm. A mature woman. Some, there, there's a couple of women here that did something at work, did something at your job. That's what I'm seeing. We also see here they did this to a privileged lady, right? So somebody was out for the house. Somebody was out for the sudden wealth. All of this stuff is here, right? And they were out to get the privileged lady. So that was a scheme. That was a plan. And I also, let me just check something out. Now, let's take a look at something. This scheming and stuff, right? Did this person's wife know that they were scheming and carrying on and carrying out this plan? Because the messages of concern, you guys were talking because all this stuff came in. And all these people talking and carrying on and sending messages. Somebody's neglecting a kid. Somebody, somebody won't answer the phone because the message is coming about somebody being knocked up or something like that. All right. Did the wife know? Ooh. Yep, she knew. She was trying to find a meaning or a purpose to let him do whatever he wanted to do. So she was making excuses for herself. And so was he because these cards do stand. I pulled the, the wife knows. I'm just saying. 
For some of you guys, this could be a cancer, or cancer probably knows. If you guys are dealing with a cancer or somebody else, a cancer could know something. They wanted to find, they wanted to find the meaning of why somebody was saying something, why somebody was acting this way with the high foron. Temperance, high foron. Mm, mm, mm. There's a lot of major arcanas coming up. Nine of Pentacles, trying to check out and see if something was right. Know and understand your deeper values and beliefs. Somebody was trying to figure out. I feel like somebody presented a scheme. It didn't sound right. I feel like somebody else probed into it. And whatever they were yelling and screaming over in the group, the group chat, right? Whatever nonsense was going on, being accused of being, a, you know, oh, you don't worship the da 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 da. Sometimes you got to look at the person actually saying it, right? Because if you got somebody up one minute saying something and then they're going to sit down and, and they hop over to them, wherever they're going when the cameras go off, you want to look at people like that. So from what I'm seeing here, the wife knew what this scheme was about, and they decided they were going to go after the privileged lady, and they were going to take money, they were going to try and take a house. There were several messages of concern sent, but from who? From what email? Did somebody misinterpret Scorpio, misrepresent who they are? Did somebody put Scorpio's work out there? See, this is a hand show. So any one of us could you know, do a little intro and say, hey, I'm the girl with the hands. But that's not you. I'm just saying, I just thought I'd throw that out there. It's not you, it's me. All my work is documented, it's time stamped. And they know it. Remember that. So that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. So before I go, let me see. So we got a lot of Pisces that shows up. We got Taurus that shows up. We got Cancer that shows up. We got Sagittarius, Cancer again that shows up. Who else is here? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's a lot of air energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's Libra that shows up with Justice. Who else is here? No, same old, same old. But that's all I have for you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, ah, 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 please. Yep, that was my little bird call. Hey, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.